couple of Ben and NFC East rivals meet on Sunday afternoon at the Meadowlands in New Jersey as the New York Giants will host the Philadelphia Eagles. And before I get to that pick, which I do have a pick on the first half total in that game and my analysis on why I like that first half total, just a couple friendly reminders, folks. Uh, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, as of yet, please take a second to do so right now. If you see a subscribe button right at the bottom below me, uh, just click on that. It costs you absolutely nothing, and you'll be privy to 100 of the best sports betting experts you'll find anywhere on the Internet today. And also, folks, um, there's a like button underneath as well. And uh, if you can kindly hit that like button, it's just a small token of the appreciation for the work, time, and effort I put in on these free pick videos uh, each day and every week. Uh, and I would hope that you would kindly hit that. And if you don't, that's fine. Just uh, continue to listen because at the end of the day, I'm Ross the Boss Benjamin. And you're not. And I've gone 13 and 2 with these NFL free pick videos over the last four weeks. So uh, there's a reason to pay attention. All right. Also, folks, uh, once you subscribe, don't forget to go into your uh, settings on YouTube and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our future content going up on our great channel. All right, the Eagles and the Giants. Uh, I said we're going to look at the first half total, 1 p.m. Eastern Time kickoff, Sunday, October the 20th. Um, the first half total in this game right now is 21. The New York Giants' last three, their first halves have combined to score. 17.3 points. That means both teams combined to score 17.3 points per game on average over the last three first halves in the last three games for the New York Giants. On the other hand, the Philadelphia Eagles, in their last three games, they've seen a combined 12 points scored in the first half between themselves and their opponents. So pretty low-scoring first halves over the last three games for each team. And uh, both of these offenses haven't been very productive to start the season. It's not a shock with the Giants, but certainly is a little bit of a surprise with the Philadelphia Eagles. The Giants uh, just averaging 16 points per game this year, uh, and that includes just 8.2 points per game in the first half of their six contests. And Philadelphia in five contests this year have averaged 21.2 points per game and they've only averaged 9.2 points scored in the first half of those five contests. These teams have met seven times since 2021, and that includes a playoff matchup uh, uh, during that course of time. And the New York Giants have scored seven points or fewer in the first half of all seven meetings against the Philadelphia uh, Eagles. Also, um, these last six regular season meetings between these teams, eliminating the playoff contest, Philadelphia scored just an average of 10.5 points per game at the half against uh, the Giants. And in the last six regular season meetings, uh, these teams have combined to score just 17.2 points per game in the first half action. So a lot of things to like about the under in the first half of this contest and I have a uh, also have a betting angle, an NFL betting angle on the first half. Um, and here's here's how it goes. First of all, Philadelphia failed to cover in each of their last two games, and uh, that they're also three and two on a season gives them a 600 win percentage. Anytime you have an NFL road team like Philadelphia coming off two ATS losses in a row, and their win percentage is between 510 and 600, um, those games have gone 24 in five to the under in first half action. So they've played 24 and five against the first half total uh, to the under. And uh, that's an average of 82.8% uh, that the unders came in in the first half of those contests. And also the average total in those first halves were 22.8 and the average combined score uh, was 17.6 in first half action. You guessed it. Uh, the Eagles and the Giants on Sunday to go over, or excuse me, under the first half total of 21. It's the Giants and the Eagles under 21 in first half action on Sunday. 
Um, some other friendly reminders, folks. The NFL, 7-2-1 seven and seven, two and one with my premium picks over the last three Sundays. College football just continues to do remarkably well. Since uh, December 2nd of 2022, my college football premium picks, 107-71. and 71. That's good for 60%, folks, uh, in a net profit of over $9,100. And uh, that's ranks number one at Wager Talk in college football during that course of time. Also, the last five Saturdays in college football, 19, 7, and 1. College football overall this year, 24, 14, and 1, uh, 63%. So as you can see, my college football has really been strong. And my NFL and college football combined have gone 18 and 7 since since. Uh, September 29th, which is a 72% uh, win rate. And uh, again, NFL, college football, you can get my annual packages in either, or you can get the combined college football NFL annual package simply by going right to my uh, direct link at Wager Talk, which is wt.buzz slash rb, and you'll see that link listed right below me. Uh, also, uh, a 5% Best bet going in college football on Saturday night. You don't want to miss this, folks. I have a 5% best bet in the Georgia and Texas game. That game is slated to kick off at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time and nationally televised by ABC. My 5% top plays in all sports have gone 27-14 and 14 since February the 3rd of this year. And uh, that is good for a, let's see here. Uh, 20 says 66 percent, uh, during that course of time. So, again, folks, Georgia, Texas, five percent best bets Saturday night, 7 30, five percent best bets in all sports, 27 and 14 since early February. Good for a 66 per 66 percent win rate. Until the next time, uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to uh, hit that like button, and I'll talk to you very soon.